friends welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really good so today's video was supposed to be different but here we are i for some reason i've lost 90 percent of the footage of the vlog that i filmed which is fine but it's also why you guys haven't seen anything from me for the last week because the vlog that i thought i was gonna have i don't have so anyway it's fine I'm, I'm trying not to be bitter about it but what i do have for you is a vlog where i'm basically just gonna read some up for a week because i need to feel something i'm very stressed i'm very tired i just need to feel something so I'm returning to my smut moment and I'm starting it with the words by Ashley Jade which I began last night and I've enjoyed so far but I'm only like 30 pages in so once I read a little bit more obviously I'll give you guys a proper update but that is what we're doing today I'm working from the library and I'm going to try not to fall asleep in public <laughs> and I don't know how this week is going to go but I'm stoked So I have like a genuine and very, very, very important question right now that I feel needs to be answered. And that is why I haven't picked this book up sooner. Because it's not like you guys haven't told me how good it is. It's not like you guys haven't told me that I would really enjoy it and that I needed to read it. So why didn't I? Why did I not listen to you? I am already like 200 pages in. It is a 700 page book. I'm flying through this and I am thoroughly enjoying every single minute. Um, there have been some things that have made me kind of raise an eyebrow and not in like a quirky, cute kind of way, but more in a kind of way. That's also one of my proudest achievements, by the way, for quite some time when I was 12. <laughs> I was a loser. Nobody is surprised by that, by the way. I trained the muscles in my eyebrows. I can't believe I'm actually telling you guys this. So stupid. I trained the muscles in my eyebrows to be able to lift individually by literally holding one down and like for ages. Anyway, whatever. Uh, one thing that has made me quirk an eyebrow is just like the constant reference to weight in the first part of the book and I will say that that could be a trigger if you struggle with the representation of plus size individuals in books because obviously I can't speak to how plus size people feel and should be represented but it did kind of strike me as a bit much that the author was kind of constantly referencing the main character's size as being a negative and the fact that she was so undesirable because of her weight and like all of this kind of stuff. I understand that she was trying to, I guess, put across how the character was feeling in response to being bullied and stuff and how the character felt that she wasn't able to be thought of as like this sexy, beautiful human. But I think it could have been done differently as it was there was a lot of emphasis on that and a lot of repetition about it <clears throat> and I think that maybe less repetition could have made it slightly less like in your face that is my only criticism so far aside from that I'm really liking it and it's going at like the perfect pace as well we've had like a really nice build up of Phoenix and Lennon's like backstory and like learn how their relationship has developed over the years and we've gone from the past to now in the present and I'm really interested to see where it, where it's going to go. And I like the fact that we've still got like 500 pages to figure it out. I think in a shorter book, like if this was 300 pages, I think it would have been really rushed. So I think the author's done the right thing by kind of making it so long. And I'm really, really excited to just delve in and figure out where this is going to go. 
So yeah, I'm really glad I picked this up. I'm already kind of eyeing up my next books for the week because obviously this is the week of smut and I have some great options on the table. I have Sinner by Sierra Simone. I have A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy, which I understand isn't like marketed as smut, but if it's anything like Things I Meant to Say But Never Did by the same author in the same series, it will be hella smutty. I also have Losers Part 2 by Harley LaRue and also Hunting, uh, Hunting Adeline, which is obviously the second book in the Cat and Mouse duology. Both of those are going to be very smutty as well. So those are my options. I'm probably not going to pick up Hunting Adeline this time, in all honesty, because it took me a good few days to get through Haunting Adeline. And because I'm trying to fit in as many of these smutty books in a week as possible, I don't think picking one that I know is going to take three or four days to read is a great idea. But I am excited to delve back into this now. I've just finished work. I handed in my final assignment for uni for the year today. So uni is done until October. So I can actually enjoy my evenings now without feeling guilty. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And I will touch base with you guys tomorrow with more thoughts and my progress on the words. But I just wanted to hop in. Hey friends, happy Thursday. I, oh, that's cute. I uh, finished reading the words last night at about midnight and you guys, I loved this book. So I gave it five stars at midnight last night, but then this morning I've been just kind of like thinking about it and I think I'm going to drop it down to 4.5 just because maybe even a four. There's a couple of things that bothered me. So I realised when I had a look through other people's like Goodreads reviews this morning that I hadn't kind of taken into account my feelings on initially reading it about the plus size representation, especially at the beginning of the book. So that's kind of like made me want to just lower my rating a little bit because that did annoy me while I was reading it. The good thing about this being 700 pages was there was a lot of development in the relationship and in the characters and stuff but the bad thing about that is it kind of made me forget the stuff that I didn't like at the very beginning. Um, so yeah I'm definitely going to amend my, my rating a little bit for that and then also the ending. The epilogue was just not it. I feel like rather than doing the epilogue at that time period they she should have done it like at a year later so we could have seen a little bit more progression with what was happening because I just the conversation that Phoenix has with the guy in the bar I didn't like and there was just little bits it just fell a little flat for me especially like from the last few chapters which were really emotional really hard hitting and I really enjoyed to go from that to the epilogue was just a bit of like oh okay so I think for those reasons I'm going to drop it down to four star but I did really 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 enjoy it like that's one of my favourite romances that I've read this year, without a doubt. So um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And now I have moved on to reading Sinner by Sierra Simone. So I've only just started it. I'm on like chapter four. Um, you know I love me some Sierra Simone smut. So I'm really, really excited to read that because Priest was one of my favourite books that I read last year. So yeah, I am really, really excited to get stuck into this. And I'm hoping it's going to be on the same level as Priest. And then, I mean, it's Thursday. And I'm only really doing this until Saturday because I have very specific reading plans for my bank holiday weekend. But if I do get a chance to, after Sinner, I will, I think, pick up Lovers by Fiona Cole. Because the last Fiona Cole book I picked up was like literally a 24-hour read for me. So I feel like I could start it tomorrow and finish it by Saturday or on Saturday. But yeah, I don't know yet. Today just needs to be like quite a heavy work day. I... I haven't got as much done this week as I wanted to because I've had some other things going on this week and it's kind of impacted both my reading and my work for the week so I just need to make sure that I really like knuckle down and get some stuff done today. I do also have a hair appointment tomorrow morning which I conveniently forgot about until right now so I can take my book with me tomorrow and that'll be some good reading time. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue with work but I just wanted to drop in and actually speak to you guys because otherwise I will not get a chance to until later on this afternoon and I didn't want to risk forgetting. I also need to refill my unhaul at some point because like I mentioned earlier on in this vlog I filmed it and then just I don't know if I lost the footage or forgot to press record honestly I'm pretty sure I lost the footage because there was other stuff I filmed on a different camera which I've also for some reason not got so I don't know if it was like an SD card issue but anyway regardless uh i need to refilm that so that you guys still get that video so yeah guys why 
why have I slept on Cinna for so long. I've been like saving it and I don't know what I've been saving it for but every time I've wanted to read it I've been like no no I have to save it for the right time. Why? Why have I deprived myself for so long? It's the same with the words. Why have I deprived myself from such great smut? I'm really annoyed at myself. I read half this book today and that's whilst also juggling work so as soon as I finish work in an hour you better believe I'm going to be finishing this book. Also yes I am currently working from bed. It is because it is 8pm at night so it's allowed. I work weird hours, okay? Top tier. Her, like, oh, Sierra Simone is just so good. She's just so good. Because not only does she write great smirks, she just writes really well. So the stories are compelling regardless. And I'm thinking particularly in the, of the Lessons in Thorns slash Thorn Chapel series that I refuse to read the last book because I don't want it to be over but that one, that series, phenomenal the American... American royalty? Is that what it's called? the American Queen, the rest of them phenomenal this series, phenomenal I am officially like a Sierra Simone fangirl not that this is new information because I always have been but I'm like back in my Sierra Simone stanning era and uh, I'm so glad I picked this up. So glad. I wouldn't mind the discreet covers though, because that does kind of give me the ick, but we'll let it slide. Friday. I have been and had my hair done this morning so I'm feeling lovely and refreshed and now I just need to get on with work. I didn't end up finishing Cinna last night and I think I've got to just like come to terms with the fact that I haven't been able to read as much as I wanted to this week which is annoying but I mean one of the books was I've read is like 700 pages so it's not like I haven't read anything. Um, so yeah I'm not thrilled that I only got through well, I will finish Sinner today, so I will have got through two. I'm not thrilled about that. I did want to do three, but it's better than none. And I've had fun. <laughs> you know, the words is like obviously a four star read. Sinner so far sitting around the four star, so that's really good. And yeah, I'm kind of happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit and get some work done, but I just want to check in with you guys because I didn't get a chance to this morning. I woke up too late, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but it's the start of the bank holiday in the UK this weekend, so I think I'm going to go to the pub later, have a few cute drinks, so I will take you guys with me to the pub. And then this weekend I'm planning on doing some kind of reading challenge. I don't know whether I'm going to read all of Magnolia Parks in one weekend or whether to do like a 24 slash 48 hour reading challenge. So I will make my mind up at some point over the next 24 hours while I figure it out. Um, but yeah all the updates I've got for you guys right now. I don't know how good this vlog's going to be. I don't know how much footage I've managed to get, which is a bit frustrating, but hopefully I've managed to grab something decent. <laughs> It's Saturday morning. I finished Sinner last night. I finished it so late so I didn't want to vlog because I didn't want to wake everybody up but oh my god I cried so hard at that book. 
that was just a lot, you know. <laughs> um, I still can't really decide like where I want to rate it because part of me wants to rate it five stars because it made me so emotional. But then also I was quite triggered by the bits which made me really emotional and I just don't know if I can give it five stars. Like it was just a very difficult read for that like reason. Like it wasn't a, oh my God, this book made me cry. It's so good. It was a, oh my God, this book made me cry and it's like killing me. So I think probably like four stars overall. It wasn't my favourite Sierra Simone and I think I prefer Priest as well. I think Priest felt more like high stakes and it felt like there was more to the plot. Like there was a lot that went on in what is objectively a shorter book. Whereas with Sinner, I just felt like everything was just wrapped up too easy. Like even the issue with Elijah and Zenny, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read it, but anyone who has read it, you'll know what I mean. Like there was no real... like issue do you know like he, he didn't have to I don't know like overcome anything it was just very yeah I, I wasn't that impressed I don't think like it was good to begin with and then yeah not my favorite but I'm still gonna give it like I think like maybe three and a half four stars and that is that so I'm actually gonna end this video here because I'm about to start a whole new vlog for this weekend um but I hope you guys enjoyed watching let me know in the comments what you're reading at the moment and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in another vlog very soon bye friends